Hi guys, so we're bending over because we don't have a tripod, but that's besides the point. Coasters, we're holding Coasters. it up. Yeah. Today we're here with a new video for y'all. What have you eaten a couple eats in a day? Yeah, so uh, so let us know. This is our third one? Third, second, third? third? Uh, no, we've done quite a few. We've done like vlog style. Okay, right. yeah. Um, so let us know what you guys think of this video and like if you like this video make sure you subscribe down below and whose meal you'd prefer Yeah, let us know whose meal you would prefer better. Mine are definitely probably better. So I think uh, my just... day was better. Just saying. Uh, just so yeah, here we go <laughs> Cool. Let's get on with the video. Let's do it! <laughs> For my breakfast, I had one of my absolute favorites, which is zucchini oatmeal, and I actually subbed half of the oats with quinoa flakes from I Heart Quinoa. And um, I also put yellow squash in this, but I would definitely recommend you use zucchini because I didn't enjoy it as much. This recipe is available in our free recipe ebook. It'll always be linked down below. You guys should definitely check it out. I also added some Amazing Grass Green Superfood Powder just to add some more greens to my breakfast. Add any add-ins of choice. So I added some maple syrup and almond milk. And then I went a little crazy with the toppings, but you know how it goes. I added some banana, coconut, cacao nibs, chia seeds, and goji berries. And of course, I have to have my nut butter. Since I prefer savory breakfasts, I started my day with a tofu scramble. I added bell pepper, red onion, and some kale into a pan. Let it simmer for about a minute, and then I added the tofu. Uh, this is firm tofu that I pressed for about an hour. I just crumbled it real well over the top of the veggies. And then I added my spices. This is nutritional yeast, garlic powder, chili powder, and a little bit of turmeric for color, and some black sesame as well. And then a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper for a taste. And I let it cook for about 10 minutes, and there you have it. I snacked on some fruit throughout the day and some snap peas and also we had a few bites of chocolate. And I had some My Heart Quinoa Puffs, <laughs> sweet chili style. Lunch was just a bunch of leftovers. I had kale, broccoli, quinoa, chickpeas, and corn. I decided to have the most epic grilled cheese for lunch. I started with some sliced mushrooms and some red onion. I cook that down in some veggie broth for a few minutes and then I added some chard that I chopped pretty finely. Let that cook in there maybe for another five to ten minutes or so. Then I grabbed my trusty grill pan, I placed a bagel face down to let it toast a little bit, flipped it to the other side and added some Follow Your Heart vegan cheese and then placed a lid over it to let the cheese melt for about five minutes. Then I added my mushroom and onion mixture just to one side, flipped it over and whoops, burned it a little bit, but it was still awesome. Sliced it right in half. And the perfect lunch, guys, honestly. Dinner was just a simple split pea soup, so we sauteed some onions, garlic, carrots, celery, and we had some leftover mushrooms that we needed to use up, so we added those in as well. And we just cooked those up until the onions were translucent and it was fragrant, and then we added in our green split peas, which are one of my absolute favorites. And to that we just added some water. You can also add vegetable broth as well. Throw in two bay leaves. Bring it to a boil, cover it, lower the heat, and allow it to simmer for about an hour and a half. And then boom, we topped ours with some bagel croutons, which is Chris's brilliant idea, and this was our dinner. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Thanks, guys. This, <laughs> this is really fun. Who's day you liked better? And we will see you guys in the next video. We post every single week, so yeah, we'll see you guys then. Bye.